Hey guys, before I start the video, I just want to say, please go check out my Facebook page. I will hopefully be uploading posts on there almost every day, if I get the chance to, about what I'm going to be doing on my YouTube channel, and yeah, please do enjoy the video. What's up people of YouTube, I'm KFH Gameplays, and today I'm doing another story time episode. I did one very, very long ago. I don't understand why I haven't really done a story time episode in very long time, I think mostly because there's nothing really going on to be honest, except from college and all that, nothing really interesting goes on down there. So um, yeah, in this video we'll be talking about this really drunk guy who I encountered with my friend Dizzy JMT not long ago. So this guy, as we was walking down to um, Tesco, me and Dizzy JMT, we encountered him like, this guy was patting him on the back while he was hunched over, we was like, Right, this guy looks like he's injured or something, we might as well go check out, see if he's okay. And when we um, got there, this guy, he, he, was, he got blood all over his face, he had blood on his hands, and we didn't really know what happened. So, what happened, the dude came over to us, and he was saying, uh, he really, he looked like he was about to hurt us both, so I was pretty much ready, you know, just in case he did attack, I'll attack back to protect myself, obviously. But this guy, he came over and he was saying, are you alright, are you alright? But the guy who was patting him on the back before we even came there, he just left us with him. He just he, he just went, right, you take care of him, I have to go do something. He's like, okay, we'll take care of him for a little while. And he was saying, we were saying to him, are you alright? Do you, do you need us to phone a taxi for you to get home? Have you got any money to get home? Where do you live? And um, this guy was mumbling his word. He had a really croaky voice. He was mumbling his words, everything like that. And he really did sound intoxicated with some drugs or um, alcohol. Definitely alcohol, because you could tell he was dr uh, drunk, but this guy was also on some drugs as well. We don't know what sort of drugs he was on, but he was definitely on something. And um, we started asking again, are you okay? Um, and what have you been taking and all that? But he didn't answer all that. Eventually he started saying he um, knows us very well, like he's known us for ages and he loves us guys. So he was like, okay, right, this is getting a bit weird. And he started gripping us as well. He started gripping us by the hand. And he, uh, and eventually he ended up starting hugging us both. He was like, right, now get off me because we didn't really know what this guy had. Not saying that he's infectious or anything, but he was on drugs and we don't know if, like something's wrong with him in any other way but he was gripping us and I didn't really want to catch anything like an illness or anything like that so I kept on pushing him off me he ended up shaking my hands luckily I had my gloves on so I wasn't really making contact with his skin but Dizzy JMT didn't really have anything on to cover his hands and he kept on giving him handshakes and he ended up kept keeping holding his hand at one point so I was like pushing Dizzy JMT's arm away saying dude he's got blood on his blood on his hand and that's when he noticed and quickly took his hand away he was like are you all right you've got blood all over you and then the intoxicated guy was like oh right I have but not in the sort of way I said it obviously he was dead slow we didn't really understand what he was saying half the time and the most weird thing happened eventually this guy ended up kissing us, not on the mouth, not on the mouth at all, but like kissing our hands. Luckily, I ha again, I had gloves on, so he wasn't making physical contact with my skin as he was kissing me, but again, Jordan didn't, well, Dizzy J and T, and he was kissing Jordan's hand, and he, he really felt uncomfortable, and as you also, like I mentioned before, he was hugging us as well, and whilst he was hugging me, he was pressing his whole body against me, and at one point, he did not let go. And whilst he didn't let go, I kept on telling him to let go, but he wouldn't. I started getting aggravated. Jo that Dizzy JMT saw that I was getting really mad. I clenched my fist. I had a really evil look in my face, and I was genuinely about to snap. So Jordan got him away, th thankfully, and he did. He did let go. And then um, he kissed Jordan on the hand, and ended up giving him a kiss on the neck, which, weirdly enough. It, like, it is weird. It just is weird how this happened to him. And he didn't, he, he was washing his neck for about half an hour when we got back. But yeah, um, this guy, like, he started acting a bit weird. 
I went over to this car and I said, do you know any taxi numbers? This woman in the car was like, no, sorry. The guy who um, was looking after him before we got there was in the driver's seat. And um, he was telling her to wind the window up, but then eventually the drunk guy or the intoxicated guy went over to the window and started annoying them. So we decided to go into Peri Peri, which was the restaurant this was happening outside. And we went in and said, do you know what's been going on? And um, one of the people at the till started saying, yeah, he just stumbled in here and started annoying some of the customers, which eventually made him leave. And he ended up falling over, knocking his head or nose on the corner of a table. I was like, oh, that's possibly why he started leaving. But obviously because he was intoxicated and adrenaline, because I don't know what he took, but he could have had a lot of adrenaline pumping. He wouldn't have felt it because he didn't really feel like not feel but look bothered about what was wrong with him we went in and um he started saying right you need to phone the police because this guy he's been standing there for about an hour and a half now and he's not left so can you phone the police so we phoned the police we started telling them everything that's been going on that he started kissing us he sounds really intoxicated and then um, he was stumbling everywhere he gave us hugs and everything it was weird and then um we was on the phone to the police, and as we went outside, he was hiding behind a little corner. We don't know what he was doing there. But he kept on walking whilst we was on the police, the phone to the police, and the police was saying, right, he's, it, like, stay on the phone with us, and, like, follow him, so then we won't really lose track of him. It was like, okay, so I was on the phone, and they asked us to describe him. I'm not going to really describe him on video, but I described what he looked like, what he was wearing, and everything like that. And as we were walking on, um, we was like, right, we know where he stopped now. He stopped in this little alleyway just near Tesco's. He was like, okay, we won't really do anything right now, but we'll wait until the police come. And um, we put down the phone. We just waited there for a little bit. We walked up next to the guy. We said hi to him again. And he said, hey, look, look. He pulled up his t-shirt, he was like, okay, that, no, that's disgusting, we looked away a bit. And he said, no, 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 don't look, don't, don't look away, don't look away, look back. He had done his belt and half, like, pulled down his pants, so, whoa, no, put your dick away and everything like that. He didn't. He went in um, the corner where this bin was against the wall and he took a piss. And um, we just went in Tesco after that. But then we decided, as we walk into the so we wait, do you want to just wait for the police? Because we've got plenty of time, because it's a 24-hour um, shop, it's open all night. He was like, okay, so we waited for a bit. This police did come, but it, as it turned up the alleyway to go up Tesco, it went right past the guy. He was like, what are they doing, what are they doing? But it turns out there has been a much serious crime that went on just outside Tesco. It turns out this... And me, this woman actually nearly got robbed. Some guy was demanding the money, but that's that's a different story. We don't know anything about that. But as we went over, we were saying right, the, the drunk guys over there who said right, we just need to sort this out. And after it was all sorted out, I got our stuff from Tesco, and um, we tried to go back over to the guy, and we asked him right, um, dude, you have to come with us. But the guy started speaking a different language, saying he didn't speak English. He was like, what you're on about, mate? You, you was genuinely speaking English to us just not five minutes ago. So why are you saying this now? He was saying no English so something like that. He was like, you do speak English. And he was saying he's from Spain. His family's Spanish. He was like, okay, all right, your, fa your family's Spanish. And he ended up speaking English to us again. And then we tried to... Um, lure him to the police so he was like come on dude we, you needed over here we, you needed and he was like okay okay he was stumbling he stumbled down the stairs a bit which made us laugh and um he walked inside to um to the main entrance was just about to go in but saw the police which made him come back out again and then he came over to us and what do you he went what do you want from me i said nothing we don't want anything and the police came out because they noticed him. And then they were saying, sir, are you alright? Are you alright? And then he made up some stupid excuse. Because he had blood on his face, even though we've explained everything on the phone to the police. He started saying that we hit him. And we and, um, Dizzy James, he went, whoa, no we didn't. Don't try and place that shit on us. And luckily the police officer didn't really obviously blame us for that she was like no they didn't because they was on the phone not long ago telling us what just happened and then and then um 
the police woman came up to us and said, right, are you set to go on now? He was like, yeah, we got one we wanted from Tesco, we can go on. And then, yeah, that's that's how it ended. But hopefully that guy got cleaned up. Um, he obviously possibly took a drug test. He possibly was in a cell for a night. But to be honest, it's better in there than out on the streets, in it? Because you don't know what could happen to him. And um, hopefully he's all right now. He's possibly at home, <laughs> probably probably having another drink. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this um, story time video. And if you do want to see more story time videos on any other um, video at all, like possibly axe, I don't know which axe we're on. <laughs> um, axe four or five, I think we're on. Um, if you want me to make an axe four or five, please do like and subscribe on this channel. And yeah, guys, peace.